Meanwhile, U.S. protesters have pushed for tougher gun control laws in the country. Thousands have rallied in the state of Connecticut to make their voices heard. Demonstrators gathered outside the state capitol, calling on lawmakers to take action to reduce gun-related violence. The mass rally was organized by a group called March for Change. Organizers said they're mainly motivated by the recent school shooting in Connecticut, which left 26 people dead, most of them children. Gun violence has become a heated debate in the U.S. following a string of high-profile deadly shootings. Every day, over 80 people die of gunshot wounds across America. Well, to discuss that a bit further, we're now joined by Mr. Abuyumi Azikiwe, who is with the Pan-African Newswire, who's joining us now on the line from Detroit. Mr. Azikiwe, thanks a lot for joining us. Now, you know, uh, protesters are pushing for tougher gun laws in Connecticut. Do you believe that, that, that they will be, they'll, they'll be successful, essentially, at this point? Well, they may be successful, but I do not believe that uh, tougher gun laws in any state uh, inside the United States is going to solve the fundamental problem of violence inside the country. It's a systemic problem. It comes uh, from the government, uh, from the military, all the way down to the state, uh, local, and rural areas. Uh, there is a culture of impunity. There's a culture of gun violence here inside the United States and until that is addressed on a systematic basis, it will not improve the overall security situation inside the United States. It's very interesting that in the urban areas uh, where you have high homicide rates, uh, high rates of personal violence, interpersonal violence and crime, that that has not been the trigger uh, for these gun laws. It's only when uh, these shootings have taken place in areas that are more affluent, among the dominant uh, majority population, uh, do we see uh, this type of uh, national outcry for more gun laws? But no, I do not believe that the imposition of tougher gun laws is going to solve the problem of interpersonal violence inside the United States. So, Mr. Ozekiwa, you know, you speak about a systematic approach to solving this issue, this gun culture that you speak about. Then what then is the first step that needs to be taken on the part of the government to, to start to address this issue? Well, they need to, first of all, uh, end the wars, of aggression and occupation that are going on in Afghanistan, uh, the problems associated with the drone attacks in Pakistan, in Yemen, in Somalia. Uh, they need to halt uh, the threats that are being made against the Islamic Republic of Iran, against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And there needs to be a more systematic approach to how law enforcement is carried out inside the United States. This arming uh, citizens in the United States uh, when at the same time you have the police and the federal officials being heavily armed, uh, is not a solution uh, to the problem. The only solution to this problem is to address the systematic inequality, the militarism uh, that is in fact uh, implemented on a high level inside the United States from the White House, from the Pentagon on down. This is the only way that, c that there can be an honest approach uh, to the elimination or the reduction of interpersonal violence inside the United States. All right, we'll have to leave it there for now. That was Abu Yemi Yosekiwip with the Pan-African Newswire speaking to us on the line from Detroit. Sir, as always, we appreciate your insight.